Hello everybody, welcome to episode 19 of RimWorld Alpha 15 Tribal Playthrough. This is pretty damn cool. We start off this episode with a raid from, let me see who this is. This is the Pirates from Mantis Plain. Now, they're not exactly packing firepower, look at them. They've all got uh, clubs and shivs and whatnot. So we should be able to deal with this relatively easily. But that does mean I'm still going to get all my guys ready to fight. Now... Take a look, we've still got a couple of prisoners. I believe we're only a day further along from when we la left the last episode. I did say last episode that this episode would be episode 18, but of course I'm wrong. I'm an idiot, I always get this stuff wrong. Right, let's just put my melee troops over there. My me melee troops, I'm still a bit unsure of using them really because we don't really have a great deal of body armor. Um, once we're fully kitted out and a bit further along in our playthrough, I think the melee troops are gonna come into their own, but for now, Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to do too much. Right, let's get Maskeena in. You can go over there as well. We've got an extreme brick risk from Reinstein. We better check in on him. His brother Aldemar died. He must must have died in one of the raids. An innocent prisoner died times two. Right, Reinstein, you better sit this one out, mate, and do some uh, more fun activities. Now... I'm slightly concerned, possibly, about food. It looks like we've got plenty, but... That soon runs out, so we're going to have to look for some more um, animals to hunt, I think. We've still got our doggies who are eating us out of house and home. Um, I'll tell you what we need to do before we go any further. And that is to clear... No, expand the loud area. So, they act, so the dogs, they've got nothing to eat. Hold on a minute. Yeah, because they're not allowed to go throughout the whole map. So, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just... Yeah, we'll leave it like that. So the dogs are now allowed in animal area one. Yeah, because I was restricting them. Okay, so they should get enough to eat now. All right, and here come the raiders. Dude, you are going to get battered. Ash and Crow, Ciara and Hawklord also have very poor mood. I'm feeling a bit nauseous, guys, so forgive me if I break off a little bit. Hey, look, we got some boars. We must hunt them. All right, here comes the raid. Let's just speed it up. That is the reason why I have debug menu on, guys. So I can use the fourth hidden speed test. One of the guys thought I was cheating, but I have not cheated once during this playthrough, I assure you. Here we go. These guys are not going to last very long. Oh, nice. They've dropped two medicine. We'll make good use of that. Hey, he's attacking my turret. No turret. Ah, now they're trying to escape. Lol. I think... I think we should be able to take him out. Let's make sure we run over there and follow him because I don't want him to break down my doors again. And we'll take this one over there and bring this one. Okay, so we're fine like so. Let's let everyone go and enjoy themselves. Oh, we got one there trying to break through. Right, let's put Ed down there with his bow and see an ox. Muchos bullets. So that turret's currently shooting at it. Hopefully my guys don't get shot in the process here. Let's move them over just a tad. Yeah, because we don't want we don't want all the extra work of having to continuously repair my doors. Right, Lumi is putting up a good fight here. She's like, I'm never gonna bow to you and I'm gonna escape, I promise. Hey, this one's getting away, damn it. Bad luck. Quick, finish him. I engage him in melee. That's not a good idea, is it? Oh dear, now we've got somebody who's gone berserk. Oh, we've got a couple of nice knives there. Um, Alfred Skips has gone berserk. Uh-oh. Alfred, he's beating up Lee. No! The curse of Alfred continues. <laughs> Why are these doors being held open? That's annoying. Alfred, have you got a weapon on you? I don't think you do. No, but you do have a shield, so you're going to be immensely difficult to stop. Wow, I've got loads of extreme break risks. Now, what I wanted to do was try and ferment some beer at some point, but without hops, that's not going to be an option. I think we need more storage space as well. So what I'm going to do is build a temporary stockpile in here. Let's just pause it while I do this. Um, clear. We want this to store items, weapons, and apparel. Yeah, and Lee's been... Uh, Knock down. Hawk Lord, I think Alfred's coming for you, mate. <laughs> Collis needs rescue. Yes, he does. Right, bad luck. Sorry to interrupt your sleep, old chap, but could you rescue your good friend Lee? 
<laughs> Hawk Lord's fleeing. He's like, I ain't staying around to get battered by you, Alfred. Right, while they're doing that, I shall uh, have a quick little peruse to see if there's any more animals we can hunt. I can't see any. This is not good. Ah, there's one. A little baby rabbit. Or a hare, whatever you want to call it. Any more? You can see the amount of deforestation my colonists have had. Kind of um, makes me think of like how the planet in general is going. <gasps> Lumi, we can capture Lumi. Ooh, shall we capture another one? Why not? We can always sell them if we want to. Um, let's see how Alfred's doing up here. <laughs> he's chasing Hawklord all the way across the map. Run, Hawklord, he's coming for you. <laughs> do you, you need like like a little bit of music across here, like do 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 do. I'm teaching you. Right, that's fine. I think. Come on, Hawk Lord. I didn't fight him back because Alfred will just batter him. I think. Ooh, I've, I've spotted spotted some more components. Actually, no, we don't need to worry about that just yet. Right, what I wanted to do. Let's haul in some more blocks. <laughs> so Alfred's finally knocked down Hawklord. Oh dear, um, Ed, that might free up the weapon for you, me. I'm going to get you to go and grab that weapon. Wow, Alfred's just battered a squirrel pretty much into incapacitation. Yay! Animals to hunt. Epic. All right, let me have a little look here. Uh, Alfred Skip's Berserk Rage has come to an end and he's collapsed due to exhaustion. That doesn't surprise me at all. Right, what I wanted to look at was, where's my hunter? See an ox here. You've still got the minigun. Great stuff. Um, oh, and we've got an electrical fault. Splendid. So we'll have to repair that. Otherwise, we're not going to be getting any power here. Look at that intermittent power. I can't cope. The power's failing, Captain. All right, let's strip all these bodies. They'll all be cremated in good time. And we're waiting for some slate blocks. So here we go, we've got some. But Cancer has gotten food poisoning from Pemmican. And so has Newton. And Newton's got food poisoning again. Blimey, a double whammy. Oh, excellent. Now my final two bedrooms have been completed. Great stuff. But now that's all in... Oh, it needs roofing though. Oh god, and Rhinestone's stripping off naked. Dude, you're gonna succumb to... Um, frostbite. Oh dear. Uh, let's build a slate door here to replace that one. Ah, I wonder, is there any penalty for using slate? Let's say I use slate to tile these bedrooms and stuff here. Would that be less beautiful than using marble? Or would it have any effect? I think it would have the same beauty, like that, you know, tiles give you a plus two um, beauty thing. But, I mean, would it would using slate sort of or marble affect your wealth? Is that what would happen? I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that. Oh dear, look at this ex extreme break risk. Now, I really don't know what I can do about that because I'm giving them six hours joy as it is. Um, cleaning is being done by Ed, so... Reinstein, yep, Reinstein's down. Okay, let's go grab Reinstein. You're gonna freeze to death, you crazy fool. Ah, you know what? We need a couple of doors over this way. They can't actually get out this way over to the right. Let's put some slate doors there. Um, how's our power doing? Newton, come reserved by bad luck. Okay, that's fine. Now, Alfred's gone slightly crazy a little bit again. Now, we've got a hunter who lacks a ranged weapon. So, Hawk Lord, let's give you this charge rifle. I think that was Reinstein's, but whatever. They're interchangeable. I don't mind. And Reinstein's now 
starving, suffering from extreme hypothermia. Wow, he was close to dying. Holy shit. Now, Hawk Lord's gone mad. Why are they all going so crazy? What's the temperature? Indoors, three degrees. Now, why is it only three degrees? Perhaps we need more heaters. We've got two in here, two in here, one there. Oh no, the temperature's gradually increasing. Yeah, we need this area roofed. All right. All right, looks like power's fully restored, so that's one good thing. Uh, and we got a breakdown of one of our turrets. And how's Reinstein doing? Go and put your clothes on, lad. You're naked. Consuming pork. With your stomach that's missing. I see. There we go. Oh, God. Now Cianox has gone berserk. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Cianox and Hawklord have both gone berserk. And now they're engaging in mortal combat. I challenge thee. Why are they going so crazy, guys? Anybody know? Well, Cianox, you won. <laughs> you won that fight. Hawk Lord is down. Has Reinstein put his clothes on yet? Yeah, it looks like he has. Good, good. Uh, let's rescue Hawk Lord. And there's a spare charge rifle again lying on the floor. Do you know what I think might have caused all these... Uh, all this craziness. When I look around at the characters, it says that they're joy deprived, but I don't think that's true. I, I think part of the problem is, like with Reinstein here, family members have been involved in these raids by the tribal people, and uh, yeah, now because we killed them, that's really upsetting them, which I understand. All right, do we still need a roof here? Yes, we do. All right, come on, builders. Oh, Alfred's our cook, isn't he? No wonder we're not getting any food made. Let's get Ed doing some cooking then. There we go. He's off now. Right, Newton. I'm going to give you the rifle there. Steg can have that bow. What are they doing? Ah, uh, they're still building all of this. Wait. Why is that just lying there? That door there is laid open. That ain't cool, man. Um, Alright, that's a little bit better. Now we're getting some meals going. That should cheer people up. We've still got a rotten, a rotting Ibex ram in here for some reason, which they're not hauling out of the way, but uh, should be okay. Hawk Lord. I'm going to give you... Wait a minute, what does Hawk Lord do? Hawk Lord is... Hauling. But you still need a weapon. Let's give you this bow up here. No, not that one. That one. Oh no, now we've got a prison break going on. You bastards! We'll never get out of here alive. Oh no, Reinstein doesn't have a weapon now. Nah, blimey hell. Uh, let's get butt cancer. Alfred, we need to arm you with... Actually, that's not a good idea. No, we're not going to arm you. You're too unstable, my friend. Um, we'll get Ash and Crow up here to help out. Newton. Min. Ciara. Dig. Bad luck. That should be enough to deal with this prison break. Min red. That's it. Go outside there. And can I just right click them and try and arrest? No, I can't. Hey, don't attack my dog. My dog gonna kill you. Okay, let's go and fire. Oh, look at the poor dog. Okay, Ash and Crow, step to the side, man. They're going to kill you. Buck cancer. You're going to get caught in the fire. 
No! Buck Cancer has been beaten to death by the prison breakers. Shit, you fuckers. Round Ashen. Ah, here comes bad luck to join the party. Damn prisoners, one of you's gonna have to replace poor old butt cancer. Uh, let's get all of these free. Sorry, butt cancer, your run has come to an end, my friend. You can have a butt cancer junior, it's the best I can do, I'm afraid. God damn, look at my poor doggy. And she's pregnant. Oh, butt cancer's body. Let's follow it, it's being hauled. Hauled, I say, down here. We will cremate you. Oh, God, we're missing a door there. Things are not going well, are they? Alright, we need to haul this Parker out of the way. Uh, see, Enox, how's your injuries, mate? Slightly bad. Dude, butt cancer, I'm so sorry, mate. I'm so sorry we lost you. Alright. Okay, so now we've got these bedrooms built, like I said, it's time to move a couple of these beds down here so that we've got bedrooms for everybody. Well, not everybody, but, you know, we're, we've nearly got a bedroom for everybody. Reinstein, would you, would you, I know why they're not building a roof. Clear no roof area, derp. That's why there's no roof there. Cool, that should sort temperatures out a little bit. Gray's got an infection. <laughs> They're just being left to die on the floor. Damn right you will. You must be punished for poor old butt cancer's death. Yeah, too bad. Lumi's got an infection too. I'm sorry, but I'm feeling mighty mean right now. I'm more, more worried about having food. And also more worried that we lost butt cancer. What am I... One of my beloved colonists. And Buck Cancer, you were doing an important job, I think. I think you were crafting, if I'm not mistaken. All right, this is good. Now we've got a little area here, which looks almost perfect to build our high-tech research bench. So that's going to go right there. And you know what I'm going to do to try and improve moods? I'm actually going to uninstall these stools and instead of having you know rubbish stools like that I'm gonna give them armchairs so for example I'm gonna reinstall this armchair right there and so that when they're working they can sit in luxury luxury I'll tell ya now that one's only poor quality but you know eventually they're all gonna be great so we'll build a muffalo leather one Let's put it there for now. Let's get a few more chairs dotted around so we can just use them. Uh, Ash and Crow's heading for a major break. An innocent prisoner died times two, and that seems to be bothering you. Always confuses me, this whole innocent prisoner thing. They're not really innocent, are they, guys? You know, otherwise they wouldn't have uh, tried to do a prison break. They wouldn't have raided us in the first place. Uh, but I think Lumi's probably going to die as well, which is a bit annoying. Ah, oh, sweet. There we go. We're starting to make these Muffalo Lever armchairs. Excellent. Ooh, that one is excellent. And that's worth $680. Jeepers, creepers. All right, let's reinstall these in the appropriate places so those who are working can have a nice sit down. Damn, that is cool. I could make loads of them and just sell them. All right, I now need to go once again and find out if there's any more animals who have decided to donate their bodies to Reinstein's food bank. <laughs> uh, it's looking quite barren. We're only on the 12th of winter still. So remember, there's 15 days in every season. And we need to wait 11 days into spring in order for it to be our growing period. So we've still got a fair while to go before we can eat. Ah, what have we got here? Cool, nine wild boars, ten wild boars. Damn, sweet. Okay, back to base now. Okay, so we need to put some uh, electricity to power our here um, steel high tech research bench. And it's 14 degrees in here, that's all right. Let me take a little look at our production. What else have we got available? 
electric tailoring bench. I do want to replace our hand tailoring bench with an electric one, so let's do that now. And I want to get some beers brewed. We need the electric smelter, and we definitely need a drugs lab. So I'm going to put that there. The electric smelter right next to it. I can have a couple of comfy chairs in front of it once more. We're going to be rich. Rich start the well. I say rich. I mean the wealth that we're going to be demonstrating to everyone is probably going to attract a lot of raiders. But uh, ah, whatever. Let's go to fight. Ah, oh, that prisoner has now died. Never mind, Lumi. Sorry. Okay, how's my base defenses doing down here? They're all looking in better condition. And some of these slate blocks. No, I might do actually. If I use some of the slate to make some floor tiles for our bedrooms. Let's get two bedrooms done like so. And bad luck henchman is wandering around in a psychotic state. My final straw was my lover dolphin died. Oh god no. For the love of god man. What are you up to there Maskeen? Oh you know what would help actually as well if we build some doors right here so they don't have to walk all the way around they can literally pass through this bedroom and get to this little stockpile yeah good job maskinen get that slate chunks produced yeah so here you can see the food issue that we've got really running low now 30 simple meals got a bit of rice we could do have a trader coming to come along um, is Cianox still hunting? Let's see, he should be. So now we've allocated those boars to be shot. He should go out there. He's really inaccurate, considering he's got 16 um, in shooting. There we go. He's actually really bad. Or uh, it's probably the minigun. Maybe the minigun's the problem. So if anyone suggests that I should use a rifle instead, then I will definitely do that if that's what you think. I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I'm going to put a little lamp in here so it's not dark. Now, if I click on Ash and Crow, look at this. It says he's now extremely comfortable. Ah, uh, but his friend Butt Cancer died. But the reason he's extremely comfortable is because of this Muffalo Lever armchair, which provides 0.8 comfort. Uh, if you compare that to, like, a wooden stall here, that only before provides 0.5 comfort. So if you do get to a point where you can afford to... Now, yeah, if you do get to a point where you can afford to um, give them armchairs, which I have, then uh, I, I recommend doing that. Alfred Skips has gone berserk again, and his victim is Lee. I think, Alfred, you're hell-bent on reducing the numbers in our colony. <laughs> you know what? We might need some more power generation as well. What are we researching? Tube television. All right, after that, we're going to research geothermal power. So that we can make use of any thermal vents that we can find. <laughs> There's one right there and there. So I'll need to change my walls. Actually, there's one right there too. Uh, Lee has been beaten to death. Alfred, no. You're too strong for your own good, mate. 11 melee. I need to figure out some way of like making it so you don't keep going crazy, dude. <laughs> Lee, I can't believe we've lost two of our subscribers this episode. Lee and Buck Cancer. Jeepers, creepers. And now your body goes to its eternal rest. We'll put you in a... We'll put you in, like, some, a vase or something. <laughs> it's the best we can offer, I'm afraid. Um, sorry. Okay, now what else do we need? We need another trade beacon. So I'm going to put that there. And how, how hot is it there? It's only four degrees. Right, we need some more bedrooms then. Mm, where shall I build those? That's a good question. Let's use our planning tool. Um, oh, hold on. Just remember, these traps need to be rearmed. Yes, yeah, so I guess we'll use slate once more and ex continue expanding this way. Um, like so. 
and get some more bedrooms going. Okay, that'll do for a start. Oh god, I, there's our dog. How is Alfred? Oh, you start you attack the dog and the dog bit you to death, my friend. Dude, go back to bed and relax so we can heal you. Min, get back over there. Lend your ten your tending hands to him. Yay, we now have our electric smelter, so that's good. So we can smelt metal from slag now. We'll do that forever. And our drugs lab, which is kind of exciting, because I don't know exactly how this works. So let me take a little look. So we can make flakes and yayo. Now, what exactly is yayo again? Ah, it requires 14 cycloid leaves. A fine white powder snorted to produce a euphoric high. So it's like cocaine. Uh, tiredness times 33... What does that mean? Pain times 50%. They feel more pain? Gives them 80% joy. Addictiveness, 8%. Hmm. Or make flake. And what is flake? Flake is a flaky substance that can be smoked to induce a short but powerful euphoric state. While it is cheap to produce, it is exceptionally addictive. Eh. Yeah. Well... I do want to make some of this, but we don't have any cycloid leaves. So, I guess we'll leave that without any bills right now. It's not a bad idea to have it, just in case. Um, I, I suppose what I can do is allocate some growing zone. Because remember, if you remember right, right back in the beginning, the very first episode, one of our sort of ideas, or our plans... There we go, cycloid plant. Plant some there. One of our plans was to make this a drug production sort of jungle group. Like you see in Colombia and stuff. But uh, it hasn't really worked out that way. Ooh. Right, Cianox. Stand strong, my friend. Don't let that boar scare you. You might actually want to hit it, though. Oh, you did it! Yay! Nice one. Alright, what are you doing now? Playing billiards. And we've got a starvation issue going on with bad luck. Yeah, because you're a bit loony. Wow. Um, we've now moved on to the 13th of winter. Is Alfred getting the treatment he needs? He is. Let's check him out now. Feeling bad. Needs a bionic body part. Ah, oh, you're really upset because the innocent prisoners died. And you're in acute pain. Well, okay. I think that about wraps up this episode, guys. I'm, I'm a bit sort of annoyed that we've lost two of our colonists really two of our beloved subscribers but that's the game guys hopefully you're going to continue to enjoy watching the series because it has been a good one um if you have enjoyed it please remember to click the like button and uh yeah please join me for the next episode i know why that's getting cold we need to fill in these walls okay yeah so thanks bye bye guys